Hello my friends and welcome to another short video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. It's post Boxing Day walk today and um, apologies if I look like Santa. Um, I'm in a pine forest now a couple of years ago I did film a video on pine fatwood but I thought I'd do a real time video for you on how to source pine fatwood and some of the things you've got to watch out for because you can get tricked in thinking it's pine fatwood when actually it's not. So I'm going to show you, show you guys how to do it, right? So all you need is a knife and a saw. And you can see guys, I'm in a pine forest. There's some dead pine trees there. Now what you need are the dead branches on pine. This won't work on live pine. You can see here guys, oh, your dead pine tree there, a dead pine stump and Teddy helping. So what you need to do it really is all about shopping around really. So when you find dead branches like this, the reason why they haven't rotted out is because of the pine fatwood in there. So, so let's take this branch here, for example, a really big thick branch. Let's cut them off and see what's inside. Might be some, might be none. Watch out Teddy, good boy. There you go. Look at that, loaded with pine fatwood. Can you see that? Look at that. And if you look at the other end, can you see the colour? One of the things that you have to do when you're looking for pine fatwood is smell. Oh, it smells of turps. Um, if it doesn't smell of turps and it's not sticky, it's dead red wood. I got, I got tricked on this one. Um, so this one is absolutely brilliant for fire. If I turn the camera around, guys, have a look at this. Here's one I cut just a minute ago. Look at the colour of that, look. The golden colour, look. Absolutely beautiful. And this is great for fire. And let's cut another one. Let's see what's happening here. I can smell it already. You'll normally smell the pine back with the turpine, the turpentine. Whoa, crikey, look at that. Look at the colour on that. There you go. So this is a dead pine stump. And if I get the piece I've just cut off and show you guys the end. There you go, you can see the fat wood there, look. Look at that. That's... <laughs> oh. So that's the turpine. And what happens is when the pine branches die, it takes a few years. Through gravity, all the pine resin gets drawn back down to the, to the main trunk here. And you end up with a reservoir of pine fatwood, turpine, in here. You get a reservoir and it does go back into the trunk there as well. So if you cut it off and then you make your shavings, put a spark into it or a match or whatever it is you do, and that will give you fire, even in the rain. Absolutely brilliant. So there you go, guys, a short little video on how to source pine fatwood. Go to a pine forest and you have to do your shopping around because not all pine species have it. This is Scots pine and it's loaded with it, um, but it is fun. And then once you've found an area where you know there's lots of pine fatwood, put it in a diary, keep a, a diary of where it is. And then like me, you can come back every, whenever you want to and just collect some pine fatwood. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm gonna go and collect some pine fatwood guys, ready for my events in the um, spring and summer. Hopefully I'll do some bushcraft events later on. So for details and information guys, keep your eyes out on my website, Steve England, or join my Steve England Outdoor Learning Facebook page. Anyway guys, short video on how to source pine fatwood. Take care.